All right, geeks, Unite the Clans here, back in your life with more Minecraft. This is a Seed Spotlight. It is the fourth Seed Spotlight we will have done. This is for Ocean's Gate, and you are looking at it right now. That massive, amazing geographic feature, that is what I named this seed after. It is an epic mountainous savanna island, and we are here at sunrise to check it out. I have shown this to you in the past. Uh, if y'all haven't seen my episode zero, uh, I'll give you a link to it up in that corner opposite from me right about now so you can go check it out. But uh, it's pretty epic. Now, this series of seed spotlights is for one reason. I am doing a poll. Uh, you can vote on it now. If you haven't, I'll give you a link to that. Uh, that link will take you to my Google Plus page. It is pinned to there, and I have a direct link to the poll itself in the old description. That'll be the first thing in the description today. So this is uh, Ocean's Gate. It is an epic mountainous savanna uh, island, entirely an island, uh, and it's awe-inspiring. Uh, that poll is going to run until the end of May. There are five seeds on it. The fifth one is... Uh, uh, Nordragar. That's coming out in two weeks on the 27th of May. The fourth is Ocean's Gate. That one out now and the poll is open uh, for the rest of the month. Go on there, vote. Whichever one wins, that's where I'm going to do my Let's Play series. So this, Ocean's Gate, wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of it. Uh, we are going to do what we've done in all the previous... We are going to do what we've done in all the previous... Uh, seed spotlights. Uh, do a creative build. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing, leaning towards maybe a modern style, but I'll figure it out. Uh, we just need to find a, a cool spot to do it. Uh, so on top of this thing might be a good one. Uh, I mean, uh, you need a little bit of flat space. That's a cool flat space. It looks a little too small. Uh, you need a bit of a flat space to do a build. So could do it up here. Could also do it... Uh, yeah, actually on any of these peaks. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look around. Oh, this might be the spot right here. Yeah, check that out. So that's, that's, mm, I, haven't, I haven't figured it out yet, guys. Uh, I'm going to go do the build, uh, and then I'll come back with you, do our tour of it. But that's as good a spot as any. So let's, uh, let's swing back around to the gate itself. You know, I could also, I'm thinking out loud here, guys. I could also do it down at the base of this gate looking out over the ocean. I think that's what I teased uh, when I first toured you through here. I don't know. You don't get much say in the matter. I mean, how you guys get to choose where I do my let's play in that poll. So I'm going to choose where I get to do this build. I, don't know, I think I might do it up there by the waterfall. So guys, uh, this is uh, has been my little uh, reintroduction to Ocean's Gate. I'm going to go now do that build. I will come back with all y'all when it is done. I will see y'all in just a moment. Alright guys, we are back. I have completed the build. To you, this looks freaking identical. So what I'm going to do, fast forward to sunset, and I will show you this build in the light that it looks best in. Be right back. All right, guys, we are back here at the gate. Uh, we are approaching uh, sunset. Here is the gate itself, and I'm going to take you guys through, and we're going to check out my build. Last time, I gave you a little kind of uh, time lapse uh, of the build set to music. Not sure I'm going to do that this time. I recorded it, but it was a long build, uh, and so that'd be kind of, uh, even if I sped it up, it's going to. I don't know. It's going to take too long. Uh, you already had a bit of a musical intro. So let's check this thing out. I mentioned I was thinking of going for a modern uh, build. <clears throat> I went ultra modern, built another house, uh, and it is just over here. I did go with that waterfall spot. So here's your first hint of it. Let's go up and over. 
and you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think. I am pretty happy with the way that turned out. As for materials, we went with uh, the cyan stained clay. Uh, the introduction of stained clay made these kind of modern builds really possible. The white is snow. Obviously, we got a little accent in the red, some dark oak, uh, and then more accents in light blue uh, and, uh, and that spruce green. As the sun sets into that pixelated horizon, this build, I think, looks its best. You start to see some of the accent lighting in the build as the stars appear around us here, guys. Uh, and it, I mean, clashes with this super uh, wild, natural setting, but it also kind of fits in uh, a little bit. I don't know. I, I like the way it's turned out. So I'm going to take you guys up and over. Uh, you can have a little look at it as we circle around. Uh, and then we're going to slip inside and we're going to check it out and we'll be back out here to show it off again at sunrise. So here is my little back garden. Uh, built a custom tree. I have not had too much experience doing that. I think it turned out okay. I wish the vines didn't come out that color in the savanna biome. Uh, I wish you had different colors of vines like we have different colors of leaves. But I mean, I think it looks good. Got some double tall grass, some ferns, some accent lighting, and then some greenery spilling over the top. Uh, so let's slip inside, guys. Got a little uh, little trellis here. Wanted some light to shine through, and we got a little little koi pond. I don't know what you call it here. So here we are. We'll slip inside. Man, that's loud. So a couple ways to go. One thing I found. This is the first time I've done. Uh, a you know, a real ultra modern build like this, interior space is pretty limited. For you to get the look you want on the outside, you compromise on space on the inside. If I were really doing a build like this, I'd build into the mountain uh, and just have sort of the facade sticking out. So we got a little, little skylight up here, lets you see that awesome waterfall, uh, which, by the way, I have uh, incorporated into our pool. So let's step out on the balcony here and you can see falling from way above directly into this little pool uh, one with ice on the bottom here uh, a lot of ice used in the build that lets some ambient lighting from below come up without letting you see straight through to the bottom um, and uh, the dark oak we used as decking and then a little light blue glass here as a railing I had a wooden railing and you know what I was kind of hating this build until I made the switch to glass now it feels modern You gotta get my hand out if we're gonna be going through doors here. Uh, this one gives you a uh, little slip out onto the observation deck. Uh, I don't know if that's what I'm gonna call this, but you can definitely watch uh, sun and moon rise from here uh, and you experience a little bit of the nature of this, uh, this garden here. And um, you guys can see, uh, I put some light lighting in up top here, uh, used <clears throat> put some lighting in up top uh, that actually adds a whole lot of lighting to the interior of this kind of tallest section of the build but that up space up there is pretty much useless it was just too narrow uh, it's a one by one space so uh, through here guys uh, I built a little staircase down if like I said I was doing a real build here I would have built into the mountain uh, and that is what this gives us but uh, I forgot to point this part out give me a sec uh, but I wanted the build to look like it was incorporated into the environment. So uh, I built this little area down here, sticking out of the mountain, uh, and that's where that staircase leads. So we'll go back up and over to there, and uh, and we'll check that out. Uh, now I kept it pretty simple. I didn't, didn't build too much of a subterranean uh, layer down here. Uh, so here we go, guys. Uh, you can see, put in a little glowstone here so we'd have some light shining through and then lined this whole thing with uh, with the dark oak. Uh, went with full block stairs here too, just so we could get down quick enough. Now this area here, uh, you can see I've gone with a little bit of accent lighting. That's purple, or accents. Uh, that's the purple stained clay and that's the lime green, I think. Uh, the stained clay is great for modern builds because you don't quite see repetition like you do in tiles like this. It tends to look like a, a big cohesive 
um, sort of matte area. Same with the snow. Uh, obviously, there's repetition uh, in the patterns, but it doesn't look quite so stark. So this area, I mainly built for the way it looked on the exterior, and I didn't really have a good plan for the interior here, so uh, I've just kind of built a little lookout. Uh, where I couldn't use ice, I used this light blue glass. I was going to use the ice here, but I wanted a bit of a recessed look, so we went with the panes. This, I guess, is a throne that lets you look out uh, over here. I guess that would be sunrise. You can sit here and check out the sunrise and uh, this glorious island. Built a couple of little spots. Uh, the areas above are lit. Uh, so uh, the areas above are lit. So I placed some sort of recessed uh, half slabs uh, just up in here to let a little bit of light through. Uh, and then we went with the, the polished andesite here. Uh, it's the same one I used on the stairs. Now this staircase goes down. I really haven't done anything with that. But again, if we were doing a real build here, I would build deep into the mountain uh, so that I could actually get some rooms with interior space. Now I do have one room that's got a decent amount of interior space and I'll take you guys there now. Uh, first you cut through this little hallway and then into, uh, I guess it would be a conservatory. This little red room. I've got skylights uh, as lighting, and I carried the glass through even um, where the top isn't open, and that does give it kind of a bright uh, greenhousey feel, and we've got stuff growing in here. Uh, hid water blocks uh, just behind uh, these blocks here, and we've got some plants up in here. Uh, I like how this turned out. Now this leads directly into uh, the one and only bedroom, the master bedroom, the suite. Uh, little bit of uh, greenery here and then I built in a couple of couches. I'm not sure I'm in love with this. I went with the lighter, the birch wood uh, in this section. I mean I think it turned out okay. Again used that same trick. Got lighting below and half slabs through here so some light does come through. Use stairs and half slabs to make a coffee table and stairs to make these uh, sort of couches. And then with the bed, I find when you're doing the ultra modern style the Minecraft beds just don't look right. Same with the chests. Uh, so what I've done uh, is gone with this uh, lime green stained clay that you saw me use down in the basement uh, and snow. The snow uh, you can actually layer up uh, so you can have kind of a, you can build up in eighths of a block. Uh, so I've done that here for pillows, signs around the outside, and then a couple bedside tables. Wanted minimal lighting in here because it is the bedroom. Uh, so I went with uh, just redstone torches and then few decorations up here on the headboard and ice as the glass. This is an idea I got from B00 when he did his super modern house a couple seasons ago of Mind Crack back when, back when he was still running with those guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched him, he's the guy that made me want to start my YouTube channel. Uh, so go check out B00 100. Uh, and then uh, for the meantime guys, let's head back outside. I mentioned interior space is limited when you do these builds. Uh, so there isn't actually a whole lot more to show you. But we will head outside for uh, for sunrise yet again. <clears throat> I forget which way's out. We will head outside. Get out of my way for sunrise once again, and we will take one last glorious look at this build. So here we are, guys, back at sunrise. That is the build. My ultra modern house built here at Ocean's Gate. This is a glorious seed. Uh, you guys have every reason in the world to vote for this one, and if it wins, I'll be stoked. You guys have been loving these Minecraft videos, so with that in mind, I want to bring you more. When the poll is over, you will definitely see more Minecraft on this channel. I have teased hashtag daily Minecraft in the past. That might be too much, but you're going to see at least a couple of videos a week, if not three. Uh, now, like I said, you've been loving it. My Minecraft videos have a combined uh, 750 plus views. We got 20 plus uh, likes, got almost 40 comments, and we did all that with 30 subscribers. You guys are clearly loving what I'm doing here. The one favor I ask of you, the only call to action I will give you as we check out this house at sunrise, at moonset, on that pixelated skyline as the stars slowly fade away. The only request I will make of you is to get over to my Google Plus page and vote in that poll. The first thing in the description will be a direct link to the poll. But if you click in the opposite corner, up in there, that will take you to my Google Plus and that poll is pinned at the top. 
Right now, dead heat. Between Mount Chambay and this, Ocean's Gate, there's one more seed spotlight coming for Nordragar, and that is coming on the 27th of May. But if you haven't voted yet, do me that one favor, guys. You're showing your love for these videos. Go show it even more. Let me know what your favorite is, and make it clear which one I should do my Let's Play series at. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to bring you more Minecraft. Like I said, Nordragar coming in two weeks. A week after that, we will bring you, be bringing you Minecraft as much as we freaking can. Thank you for your love, guys, and I will see all y'all in the next Seed Spotlight.